This world ain't fair, and don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. We solemnly swear, it's in the air, drama popping everywhere. It's no love, ain't no feelings to spare. We solemnly swear, we solemnly swear to keep it 100. We solemnly swear to keep it 100. So have a seat, strap up, and let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Just, you know, I'm calling my sister. I know, I know, I know. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. It's, it's something. I will, I will text Shay and let her know. I'll text Dre. Yes. Announce I'll text it. Dre. Don't text me. I don't care. I'm still going to text you. Nope. Don't text me. Shay just trying to act tough. She, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text I don't care about the... <sighs> I know you don't, but I'm still going to text you and inform you of what happened. No, text Dre. I'm going to text Dre Boogie. <laughs> Dre Boogie is the collective. That's both of y'all. Boy, I, I like that. Yeah, when I put like you know how they Benifer and yeah, like that's cute. yeah, I put them I put them all together. We've been Dre Boogie for years. I love that. Okay, that actually sounds like a real like one person. Benifer don't sound like one person. Dre Boogie sounds like one person. How many people does Benifer sound like? It just sounds like a couple meshed together, meshed together. That's what this that is, Dre Boogie. I know, but I'm saying it works because I feel like Dre Boogie could also be its own name. Okay. Don't give him no ideas. Yeah. Oh, I'm not running with Good. He's like not running with. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> All right, let's go. We's recording. Yeah. Motherfucker. See, he always get us. How much did you, did you get? The whole Dre boogie. Probably the I don't care. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Who you is? I am Mr. Luke, man. I've been drinking fucking apple cider with some. Fucking alcohol in it. I'm <laughs> twisting around here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, live from Legendary Lab 7 Studios, uh, home of the infamous round table. Uh, I am the one and only Mr. Luke. Uh, I am surrounded by some great people. I don't have my gavel. That's pissing me off right now. Uh, I got the man, the myth, the legend, super producer D. Francis to my right. I got uh, Shea Boogie, my, my beautiful homie, uh, to the left of me. What up, world? I got this swole motherfucker which, that looked like a security guard with a beautiful voice by the name of Big Don, a.k.a. Big Papa Pump. Yo. Yo. Hey. I'm not calling him that. Yeah, oh, yeah, we, that's right. We don't call you that. Hey. All right. <laughs> this is the We Somebody Swear podcast. Ladies good. and gentlemen, what it do? What up? Hey. He was doing so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So <laughs> what's up, y'all? Man, we recording on a Saturday. It's Perfect. rainy. It's gloomy, but we're going to liven it up. We're going to liven it up. Goddamn right. All right. We got uh, my homie, uh, Razor Sharp Dre, um, doing some really live big things in the building today. We appreciate you, brother. The sharpest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Shea Boogie is short for time, so that sucks. But we still have a really impactful show. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to get pretty live in here today. Ooh, I think so, too. All right, so where do we begin? Um, right hand? No, not yet. I think that we probably have... Um... Oh, okay. Oh, we got We got a visitor. Who the fuck is at you the door? You ordered some pizza? I would wish I did, because I'm hungry. I'd rather have Chinese food than pizza. Who is that? Listen, this uh, weekly thing is getting out of hand. It's cutting my key. Who thing. is at the door? So, I had to come visit. This is Tia. Hello. Oh, hello, what Tia. What up, Tia? Jeez Louise. <laughs> Now, as y'all can see, Tia, Tia, is, Tia two times. Yeah, Tia two times. Tia is. Hello, Tia. How you doing? Tia is what? Tia, Tia gonna twerk the whole show. Yeah, Tia. I really wish y'all could see. Tia's a twerker, but before Tia twerks, uh... <laughs> Tia the twerker. I like that. That's alliteration. I like that. I, I, we could, we could Tia the that. twerker. All right, look. Uh, Not er good at it, by the way. Okay, okay. Let's put our hands up, right hand to the man, everybody at the table. <laughs> Even you twerking, Tia. All right. We'll start with our guest, uh, Twerk and Tia. Do you solemnly swear to keep it 100, ma'am? I do. All right, will you put that on, ma'am? I'm going to put it on my sister. All right, we love that. Uh, we'll go to Big Papa Punk. I'm not calling him that. When I call him that, sir, do you yeah. solemnly swear? Sir, do you solemnly swear to keep it 100? I do. He does. All right, uh, Shea Boogie, the uh, wonderful Shea Boogie, Alien Superstar, uh, Nas fan. Yep. 21 Savage fan. Sometimes. All right. Uh, do you solemnly swear to keep it 100, ma'am? I do, and I put that on MJ because they just canceled Chris Brown's performance for the AMAs. All right. Uh, I definitely do. I am. I put that on. What's that girl named that passed away in Mexico? Shanquella Robinson. We put that on Shanquella Robinson. 
That's a good one. All right, I know. I should have said that. Yeah, because that shit was pretty whack. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. All right. Let's get it. All right. So, a hater. I'm not a hater. I promise you I'm not a hater. That shit was whack. Though. I don't care. I mean, you know, I put it on Chris Brown because he got whack. I said I put it on Michael Jackson. MJ. Oh, okay. MJ. Okay. So, you're not even listening, talking about something whack. You guilty. I'm, no, well, yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, you to... guilty because you okay. was false. Okay, okay. okay. Thank right. you. All right. That's what I mean. I'm guilty. Fuck. I hate being guilty. All right. <laughs> what are we talking about today, uh, y'all? A lot. Ladies and gentlemen at the round table. I like when I say ladies and gentlemen. It's really cool. because I say it. today. It's good to have some Look, backup. I say it all the time, but it's only ever one lady at the table. Right. All right. So what's in the news today? <sighs> Too much. Uh, what are we starting with? I don't know. Um... It was a couple of things popped off. I saw. Um, we want to start with some heavy or some light. Uh, we can actually do some heavy. Mm. What's the heaviest thing that popped off this week? Shanquilla. Yeah, that is a face that I've never seen prior to last week, and I've probably seen it now more than any face I've ever seen. Yep. Plastered all over the news. Yep. And apparently she, I don't really even know what the full story is, right? Somebody told me that she was somebody who got beat up on camera by people that lied and said that she had like some kind of alcohol poisoning. Yep. But she was really like beat to death. Yeah. So apparently she took a trip to Mexico with some friends Mm -hmm. and her mom talked to her. Let's say they got there on a Friday night and they apparently went out, had dinner. And then the mom said she was supposed to call her the next day and she never heard from her after that. Yeah. And the friends called the mom and said that she was laid up without a pulse and she had alcohol poisoning. But the truth of the matter is there's a video that has surfaced where she's being beat naked, um, being flung, beat, kicked, stomped, everything. And so they saying that she passed from spinal from a spinal cord injury, um, from head injuries, and so now the FBI has picked up the case, and I'm excited because we need justice. So when I first saw this story kind of circulating and moving around, my question was, who the fuck is who is this? Who the fuck is this? And I that's still my question: who is she? I mean, I mean, is she just some random person? She's just a, she's just. A, and when I ask that, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I know oh, people, yeah. look, I know people, we're in an emotional era, right? Where people are just triggered by shit and they want to like be offended. So when I ask, is she just a regular person? I don't, this is my disclaimer. I don't mean any disrespect, right? But when I, who is she? Is she like just, is she a celebrity? Was she she's also, not a celebrity. She's yeah. an entrepreneur. She's a 25 year old woman from Charlotte, North Carolina, who is a, who was an entrepreneur. So the question I have about this is not even about the murder case right now. My first initial question is why is this story so big? So I think the issue is when a family doesn't feel like they have answers. We are in the era where we have people like Tamika Mallory and, What's the other nigga name? Sean King and all these people yeah. that you can be like, doo, 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 doo. hit the bat line like, yo, I have a black person that's in a situation and I feel some type of way about it. This is my sister, cousin, whoever. And it just goes viral because that's the situation that we're in. So for whatever reason, her loved ones mm-hmm. got on the phone with the people who are influential. And now it's a thing. So, yeah, I mean, listen, justice for her. Of course, we definitely need that. Are the people who did it, where are they? That's the problem, they right? Do they know who, who she was They walking beat around. Yeah. It's on video, right? So you could see the person that was fighting her. Um, it's, it's really holes in the story. And so this is the reason why we need to get more information because everything isn't out yet. Okay. Well, I saw like Kyrie Irving like donated. 65000 A lot of money. Then I saw some some other famous play, person. I don't know if it was an a, a, a athlete, somebody. Somebody else donated a bunch of money. That's what, and then I, I, was, I was like, well, what's, what's the purpose of that? You know, I don't know if it's like to cover like maybe funeral expenses yeah, and yeah, stuff like that, but I mean. And resources like, like yeah. lawyers. And lawyers, going everything. Going to Mexico, yeah. trying to investigate yeah. all of that stuff. I mean, mm-hmm. most of us out here living check to check. So. Yeah. Well, rest in so peace to her. And I'm sorry that that happened to you, young lady, um, Shanquella. And be uh, careful who you call your friends, because apparently these were her friends. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody is not your friend. Everybody friends. ain't your partner. Most Just because they smile that. in your face don't mean that you need to be taking trips with them. 
Okay. Well, rest in peace to uh, Miss Shanquella. Um, I hope they get the, the the fuckers that did that to her. And um, yeah, we need justice. We definitely need to get justice. Um, but yeah, man, like I say, I just I always wonder like when stories grow legs, like how does it happen? Because I've heard some horrific stories of things happening just to no other normal people, right? Yeah. And like it's just it comes, it goes, and that's just it, right? Yeah. So. I mean, I see this shit is like everywhere. And then, like, you know, we live in an era now with the internet and social media. So now it's conspiracy theories. And of course. She's been, sac- she's been sacrificed. And so I'm like, bro, okay. Mm. So, you know, like I said, I always just wonder, like, how, you know, how this shit even gets started. But like I said, rest in peace to her. So sorry that, you know, um, the people that did it, fuck y'all. Crazy. I definitely hope they catch y'all and, and throw y'all like 10 feet under the jail, right? Yes. Uh, what else we got? Oh, yeah. Do you want to get into the shit shit that we, we was talking about uh, off mic? Let's get into it. You ready? I'm not ready. Shit. I, 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 I'm ready for what? Are you ready? Listen, I was stammering on my word. This hey, that's why I asked, are you ready? Listen, this is a cup of <laughs> I don't know what ready. Is. This cup. Hold on. It doesn't take much. Y'all know that. <laughs> At all. Yeah. Hey, listen, one sip. One cup, I'm out of there. Not even a cup. And I'm on two cups Let's now. So, yeah. No. All right. Um. So... Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Break it off. Ooh, Escobar season has returned, my nigga. Has returned. It ain't never went nowhere. That's that's just what Puffy says at the beginning of the song, Shay. <laughs> but you just you just wanted to say it right now. That's what he says at the beginning of this song. Just mm-hmm. like that, he says Escobar season has returned. Mm-hmm, yep. All right, anyway, Shay, hate me now. Uh, nah. <laughs> this is a... Now, a lot of you may know this track. I know this uh, beat coming in. A lot of you may not. You know why you may not? Because not according to 21 Savage, this <laughs> thing ain't relevant. <laughs> oh. no if you don't right. know this track, you're five. Hey, hey, hey. All right, you can hate me now. All right, get this shit out of here. This irrelevant ass shit. All right. <laughs> Let me talk my shit. All right, no, uh, rapper 21 Savage had... Who? Uh, see, we're not finna do that shit. We're not doing that. Twink, Twinky One Savage. <laughs> Uh, 21 Savage comes out. I ain't gonna say comes out like he didn't make up like a public statement about this. He was just having a conversation, kind of like we're doing, just talking. And you know, like like people do, they take some shit that you say and they blow it up for the world to see, and it becomes a thing. It grows mm-hmm. legs, right? Yep. So I guess he was on Clubhouse mm-hmm. chatting with some some fine fellows, and you know these gentlemen were having a discussion about rap, I guess, and. You know, at some point he made a bogus statement. At some point, I guess they were talking about the relevancy of some of the older rappers versus the newer rappers, and an example came up, and that example was a guy by the name of Nasty Nas, Nasir Jones from Queens Bridge. Uh, yeah. So, I guess do we have a clip of that? Yep. Let's see what he said. I don't feel like Nas is relevant. Who do rapper came and dropped the project and that shit was Hold ass. Who said none of them are relevant? One mic, one mic, one mic, please. One mic, please. No, no, we're not saying that. One mic, one mic. No, bro. One mic. He's not relevant. He just has a low level. Y'all right back up. Y'all right back He just has a loyal fan base that, that, and he still make good ass music. They don't have but a core like, fan base. Bro. Relevant. All right. What, 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 what y'all do? Kids didn't wake up and download that news. What y'all definitely. Okay, so there you go. That and that particular that one, I guess, little clip like sent shockwaves through society. Yep. Uh, Shay Boogie, what what say you? First of all, let's define relevance. Right, relevance is the quality or state of being closely connected or appropriate. So when you first say of all, that, hold on, real quick. I don't know what none of that meant, but, but go ahead. That's because you're drinking. Mm-mm. Did you Google it? <laughs> that shit was too. That was like too many college words put together. In a no, it's not. Point. It wasn't that many. Read it again, words. Shay. The quality or state of being closely connected I'm or already, appropriate. I'm lost. I don't even know what appropriate it means. Don't try to take away from the fact that Nas is still relevant. If you say he has a loyal fan base yeah. and people are still listening to his music, you are relevant. You may not be you may not be on the top rappers list for 10 to 12 to 15 to 21 year olds, but Nas is still relevant. Okay, well, I've got another definition here. Right. Um, Can we read the second bullet on Google, right. please? Yeah, what this it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, Let me just read it. Let me read it. Let me read it. Read it. 
having a bearing on or connection with the matter at hand. Ooh. It's the same thing that I said. No. That's well, not the man, definition I'm referring listen, to. Listen, I don't know. So then he's relevant in music. That's, it, it, the, that's it, the same it, thing it, that it, I it, said. All right, it said. All right, all right, hold on. Music. Meaningful or purposeful in current society or culture. Right. Yes. Um, so let me go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead, Shay. No, go ahead. Because. No, because you're very passionate about this. I want you to talk. Talk Because your I shit. don't understand how you're saying that he's not current and he's not in, in, in this culture today. How is he not relevant in the culture today? Okay, hold on. So. Okay. So first of all, right, this is just a small piece of what he's doing. Hennessy is the number one cognac in the world, right? The number one cognac in the world. They didn't tap 21 Savage, right? They tapped Nas. Why? Because Nas is still relevant. And what did they tap him for? For Hennessy's acceleration fund to empower the next generation of black entrepreneurs. It's called Never Stop, Never Settle. OK, so with the number one cognac in the world, they tap Nas, not 21. If he wasn't relevant, they would have never tapped him. All right. So let's get to let's let's first of all, let's look at it from a, from a, 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 an honest position. Do you think 21 was trying to be disrespectful to Nas? I just don't think he knew no. what he was saying. No, 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 no. I'm asking a specific. Question. I don't know. I me personally. No, no, I don't no, no, know. no, no. OK, hear me out. This is a yes or no question. It's not for me. Let me do my thing, Shea Boogie. But still the same Just, answer. Okay, I know because I know you. You're not gonna. You're gonna be like like difficult with it, and I'm cool with that. But the question I'm asking is: Do you think? Do, do you believe that he was attempting to try to like talk, like be fucked up to Nas or say some fucked up shit? Um, what do you think, uh, Big? Uh, whatever your name is. <laughs> <laughs> It's Big Papa Punk. Uh, oh God! Let's get let's, let's get it out. All right, well, let me just just real quick. Do you uh, think man, he was trying to be disrespectful nah, to Nas? I, you know, listening to his statement, no, nah, because I mean, he made. Uh, if you listen to it contextually, he said other stuff like good music, and so he's he de- he definitely didn't seem like he was trying to degrade him in anything like that. It's just he just feels like he's not relevant, I guess. But I, and I disagree with him. Okay, so and this is this, this is kind of why I don't like to f- go like. Left because Nas is legendary, right? Mm-hmm. It's hard when we come from a certain point in in history and grow up listening to artists like Nas from the Steelmatics to on, right? I don't. What's the second uh, album uh, with a uh, uh, Street Dreams? Steelmatic? No, that's that was that was after. It was written. It, it was, was written. written. Yeah. So when you go from like uh, fucking. Uh, Illmatic to it was written to like you say Stillmatic to I am and and on and on and right like and on and on Nas is fucking like legendary. I mean, it's, it, when they say like the top three, they like uh, Jay Z, Biggie, Nas. It ain't even as far as like his greatness. So it's hard to see when people say something that kind of, kind of sounds like it's slighting him. Slighting him. I don't feel like Twenty One was trying to be disrespectful. So I feel like a lot of the reaction was kind of unnecessary and unwanted. We live in a headline society, right? So you'll see the headline and say, Nas said, I mean, not Nas, see, that's that cup. Fuck. <laughs> when you see, <laughs> when you see like the, the headline that says 21 Savage says Nas is irrelevant, right? So you're like, man, who the fuck? Fuck 21 Savage. Who the fuck you think he is talking? You know what I'm saying? But he didn't, he wasn't given the energy, like trying to like be disrespectful. So I don't have that type of energy for 21. Where I do have is more like a, a educate, a educating type of energy like like nigga like what shay is doing like when she starts talking about uh where did you just correct me no no, no. oh okay it's cool <laughs> i like to be corrected i was, I just, never. I was gonna thank you <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> but no but like uh, from educate you have we have to educate i mean really i'm gonna be honest with you fuck that it's too late to educate these youngsters now they 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 come up in a completely different era to them glorilla is relevant. Megan Thee Stallion is relevant. NBA Young Boy, Kodak Black. These people are relevant to 20-something year olds. To them, Nas is not relevant. And I think that he was trying to make the statement that those people are because to them, they are relevant. Nas is not relevant to him. So, from his vantage point, I'm not sure how mad I can be at his statement, especially when he wasn't trying to be disrespectful. At least that's what I take from it. What y'all think? Again, I don't know. 
if he was trying to be disrespectful. I just feel like even just those words falling off his lips to me was disrespectful because without Nas, you would not be here 21. Like there's nothing significant that you have done to the industry. There's nothing significant that you have added to the culture. There's nothing significant that you are doing right now. So the only thing that you really have popping is doing an album with Drake. Why? Because Drake is popping. So outside of that, I do feel like he was being disrespectful by even just saying something so foolish out his mouth. 21. 21. Uh, (laughs) All facts. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's... It's it's just, it's like even though his opinion is fact. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, a, it's an opinion thing, right? From from his vantage point, his opinion now nah, is not relevant. Um, and so, and the music today, like I said, these hey man, these kids like and you like we was talking about Glorilla sold out a concert. Her whole twenty four hours. Her whole every like, city. Yeah, her whole what do you call it? Your tour. Thank you, man. I'm drinking. I need y'all help. Man, the whole tour for sold out song. in 24 for one. Yeah, for two they, songs. They just but hold on, hold on, hold on. They just so, want to sing that song in for there, two bro. songs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just say now I'm 21 Savage right now, right? So is, is Glow really not relevant? <laughs> <laughs> y'all telling me it's like y'all telling me, and now I put that out right now. He gonna be relevant? He gonna sell it out right now? <laughs> I don't is, know what the fuck. Is that how he sound? I mean, I don't, to, I, for, to drunk Luke, yeah. You sound like a slave. But that's what them niggas sound like to me. <laughs> so you telling me, it's tw- you telling me, nah, he sell out right now? If he put out it right now? You do kind of sound like he's just a little <laughs> thank bit right you, there. Thank a you. little bit right there, you didn't sound like him. Thank you. Yeah, them niggas, yeah, all right, yeah, come on, Luke. All right, um, so, no, but I'm saying from there, from there, and somebody here mentioned it earlier, I'm scared to say the word radio, but I said it because... Boy, when somebody said 21 is on the radio. But but he's not. Shay Boogie, here you go. He's where, Where's he on the radio? Who, 21? Yeah. Where's he's he on the, radio? He, on the radio? He's definitely on the radio. What song is on the radio? I just told you about it when I listened. No, 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 no. Right Shay, now. Shay, Shay, Shay. I'm going to tell you. I just told you a story about my truck being down. And I had to listen to the radio all day. And I heard that Ready to Gun You Down. Ready to gun you down. And I I forgot what song it was. That's Bank Account. Yeah. That came out six years ago. Six, Shay? And they six years playing. ago. What year did it come out? So he relevant because they still play. But it's it. still on the radio, right? That's still. Yeah. It's still but that on just, the radio. But just because, but again, just because somebody is not on a radio doesn't mean that they're not relevant. That is true as well. So you, I'm can't, not, you no, no, can't say, you can't judge relevance well, off of radio play because radio play is staged. It's paid. It's pay for play. Like, let's be for real so, here. But, like, we, so, like, we, like, like, acting like we don't know how this shit go. But no, but, no, no, no. We act like. Even though the label creates relevancy. <laughs> The label creates relevancy. What? What you mean? The label creates relevancy. So if they're if they're pushing a product, mm-hmm. that's what makes it relevant. Right. And unfortunately, if they're pushing a the product, that's what makes it relevant. What I'm saying. Well, that's not what I said. What I said was just because it's not on the radio doesn't make it irrelevant. Okay. So what we learned just today, because it's not on the radio doesn't mean that that's not the only way to measure relevance. That's why. That's why I didn't want to say the word radio because I'm not. I'm not p- taking a position on this shit. I'm just talking about. 21 sat. Now, I control, like, fuck Nas. That nigga ain't relevant. I don't want to take that position. If you still listening to the radio, you already behind. So that doesn't even matter. But that's not true. If you, these kids, we grew up listening to the radio. They listen to radio. But we don't, but we don't listen to the radio right now. They listen to radio. No, 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 no. (laughs) Okay. That's not what I'm, like, you taking it way too like literal? literal way too literal literal is facts what i'm saying is we got streaming right if you're still in your car listening and tuning to to the radio you already behind because we did that we already did that i'm trying to connect that, that point to like what we're talking about though that's i, why I, didn't I don't i radio. don't listen to the radio so for me you being on the radio does not make you the only way to be relevant that's what i'm saying so to you yeah, okay, cool. That's what we're talking about. Everybody's opinion. Okay, I didn't, I don't have a position, a, 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 an opinion on this shit. I do, and yeah, that's my saying. opinion. When we're I don't even have an about opinion. relevancy, what generation are we talking about? Because we all grown, right? Like over 30? Not everybody in the room. Okay. But look, well, over thirty. <laughs> screw over thirty. Aren't we all like over thirty five? When we say radio, hold on, hold on. D. France is talking, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> when we say radio, we don't mean like oh god, nine, we mean like TikTok, YouTube, all of that. That's what they're listening to, not 
tuning into the radio. But that, but that's false too because they keep taking all these old songs. You find old songs on TikTok all the time. Not an old Nas nah song, but go ahead. Right. Listen, you that still, part. you still, <laughs> as the kids say, that part. You, you still find old songs on TikTok, so yeah. that's still that still is in, is inaccurate. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. So I still don't. So. <laughs> all right. So. Yeah. So no, we're not twenty years old, and we're not listening to the youngins. Hey, but it ain't no, it ain't no old nah songs on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and it I ain't mean, no be. But we're not talking about just Nas, right? No, we're not. Okay, so we're not only just talking about Nas. We're talking about music on TikTok, and y'all using that as a way to measure relevance. All right. But you can't use that because there's still old songs being played on TikTok. Okay. It may not be Nas. All right, y'all, let's move on. Okay, so now that's what 21 Savage said. 21 Savage said Nas is not relevant. Everybody jumped on his ass. We got a Michael Rappaport uh, clip, I think, that we're going to play. We yeah, he got on his ass. Michael Rappaport uh, talking about 21. Nas is not relevant. It, co- it shows in your work, 21 Savage. And I'm glad you're making money. I'm glad you're able to take care of everybody. But it's so disrespectful. Only in hip-hop do people do that. Do they degrade? Do, do they do shit the- on? It's- and I got I to gotta pick it up again. I got I to gotta come out again. Me, Michael Rapper. I got to be the one to say, how dare you? To say that Nas isn't relevant. And we see why you would think Nas isn't relevant, 21 Savage. Because when we listen to your music... <laughs> It shows that you're not a big Nas fan. You probably ain't a Big Daddy Kane fan, an LL Cool J fan, a Beastie Boy fan, a Gangstar fan. You probably, you probably ain't a fan of any of them. And I hear it in your work. You're like Cat in the Hat. That's the kind of rapper you are. Cat in the Hat, jumped over the bat, and then he flipped and he flapped. Yappity yap. 21, 21. All right, 21. So- this, I, I think, I've always said that we, we live in a twilight zone. I think that us as older people now, we are so out of touch with so of touch. a lot of shit that, that the youngsters are doing. This is their time. You know what I'm saying? And in their time, ain't nobody listening to no fucking LL Cool J. Right. Ain't nobody I, listening to no goddamn Beastie Boys. I get it. But we're old, so that's what we came up with. But we're, our feelings are hurt because we are, that's, what, that's our shit. And we hold that near and dear because we know how we know how talented, first of all, these individuals were. We never thought we was gonna get old though. Right. Well, but that's not what he was saying. He wasn't saying he wasn't that's saying that. Like he was just saying you could listen, you could listen to his rap and tell that he don't understand the pioneers, the history of hip hop. None of them do. They don't because they didn't. Li- they don't they and listen. didn't never but listen. But you're to in. That. A, but you're in a culture where you're rapping and you have to know your history. No, you don't. You should. Okay, but they don't. Is my point. I yeah. don't care. You should. Okay, but they don't. But it doesn't should. matter. If they should like there's but no you should. That, but there's that's, no rules. But that's to this. my opinion. And, you it, should. and it's my opinion also that there's no rules. To right. This okay. Shit, so your opinion don't trump mine. I'm just saying okay, they should. Okay. I'm not trying to trump. I don't give a fuck about your opinion. That's I'm what, saying that's that, what I'm saying. I'm saying that we clearly. Okay, all I'm saying is, from their point of view, they don't give a fuck about history. I'm not saying that that's right. I I I want to say that they should, but I we, think it would make them better. Well, hold on, hold on. But it, that's why. Them, but that's why the music is whack. It would make them more talented, probably, because they would have a bar to kind of like live up to. That's all he's saying. But they don't. Is my point. And so, from their vantage point, whether we think it, like it or not, and they that shit do doesn't matter to do. them. It, it just it doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, they're older basketball players that we never heard of who are like fucking legends in their time. Baseball players who that shit they don't doesn't matter. Um, I heard Glorilla on an interview say that twenty one uh, Chief Keith was who influenced her to rap. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't get you. What the fuck you want her to say? Uh, Eric B and Rakim. Right. Like we have to accept that we have we're old now. We're the old folks who look down. I'm not and, old. Um, Shay, you're the oldest person in the But I'm not place. old. Old, you're not gonna, old is a state of mind. I'm okay. not old. Okay. Well, Shay, you're not old, but you are. But what I'm saying no, is. No, I'm not. Okay. You're not. You are. But what I'm saying <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I, all I'm saying is, I get every point of view. That's why I'm not. Like, I don't, I'm not. I don't have a dog in this fight because I don't. First of all, I don't feel like he was trying to be disrespectful. I said that. But. I know that they don't know history. They don't know about they they don't know you couldn't they don't know three biggie songs outside of hypnotize, maybe big they might know Big maybe Papa. Juicy. They don't they don't know Juicy. No. You know what I'm saying? They don't know. No. And if you ask them what Tupac songs, they probably don't know that. 
And those are probably the most relevant rappers that you could think of in the They 90s. don't need to know. Because this is their time. They don't need to know. I agree with that. And that clip of Michael Rappaport, he said, like, these people aren't fans of blah, blah, Then he said Big Daddy Kane. Like, <laughs> get the to fuck me, out of here, that just completely supported my opinion on the situation. Well, what's because your you are, you're, it's semantics. Like, being a fan of something has nothing to do with relevancy. The man said himself, Nas has a loyal fan base. That's not what we're arguing. Relevancy and having people that like him to still stream his music, who would go to his concerts, whatever, that's two separate things. Well, Nas got to have some relevancy. He just dropped the album and everybody he has talking relevancy. About because he has a fan base. And he still. That's not the that's, same thing. It is, the sa- it is the same thing. All right, we thing. talked about this for like 20 minutes. That's the Shane. same thing. That's the same thing. Yeah. All right. Well. All right, let's get let's let's move on. Okay, so Twenty One Savage, you guilty for saying that Nas is not relevant, extremely. Uh, but also uh, Twenty One Savage, you are not guilty for saying that Nas is not relevant because he's not relevant. I'll take let's it. Move on. I'll take All it. All right, what we got? Blueface, y'all see this nigga? Blueface, Tatiana. Blueface is everywhere. Okay, Blueface was arrested for attempted murder. Y'all saw that? Yes. Okay, I don't know shit about that case. Guess what? Because in my world, Blueface is guess what? Not, not relevant. relevant. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck about nothing he got going on. Uh, but, you know, I hope that he did not try to kill somebody. I saw a TMZ video where it looked like a, uh, some, I don't know what a was truck happening. A truck up. like they pulled up. And to me, it looked like self-defense. It did. I, I'll leave it there. I don't know. I don't know the, the details, the particulars, because to me, Blueface is what? Not, not relevant. relevant. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So, Blueface, you are, what is he? Is he guilty? Thank fuck you, are you guilty for just being Blueface? All right. Let's move the fuck <laughs> on. Um <laughs> I know we, we said we want to go tap this real quick. Uh, some shit with Kelly Rowland and Ebro in the morning, Hot 97 in New York. Guess he was steady making references to Beyonce to her. Playing and second. Playing, and her like playing second to Beyonce. People got offended by that like people do because they're, they're people. But you need people like me to come out and say, motherfucker, Kelly is second to fucking Beyonce. Beyonce is one of the most popular people in the entire world. So if I can use or talk about, talk to you, Kelly, I, guess who I want to talk about? <laughs> I want to talk about the popular, most popular motherfucker ever. When's the last ever. time you talked to B? Now, I love you. <laughs> yeah, but when's the last time? What's Beyonce what's doing? What's she doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, just the, that's just like, I, people are crazy. Like, what the fuck are they mad about? I don't know. But, hey, um, what we got? So, I don't know. Ebro, are you guilty? guilty. Sure, you're guilty. For bringing up something 20 years later. Yeah. We already, we already talked about it. For steady that. talking about Beyonce, you are guilty. But Kelly Rowland, you guilty for not being as, as live what as Beyonce. What was her response, though? Did she... I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, I don't listen. I don't care about this shit. <laughs> that was just some shit that I saw in the news. Um, let me go. We keep on rolling. Uh, um, T.I.? Oh, T.I. dissed Charleston White. Yeah, so he dropped a whole verse on um, Juicy Fruit's song called Step, where he's dissing Charleston White. And Juicy Fruit is who? Is a female rapper out of Atlanta, I believe. Is she relevant? Um, I mean... No, she's not as she's not. She's still in the come up phase. Mm. So a lot of people don't know her because she's still in that phase of coming up. Yeah. But she's not on the radio. If that's the way, you know, she's not on the radio. Why would T.I. use her song? What like what's the song? (laughs) Well, well, number one, number one, she's from Atlanta. I'm saying she's like a a hardcore rapper. Like she's dope. She's hard. Lyrically, she's hard. Okay. Um, He directed the video. Mm. T.I.? T.I. directed the And he's video. taking shots at Charleston White on there? And he's taking the whole versus shots at Charleston White. Now he's taking shots at Charleston White because Charleston White was talking about his son. Yep. And uh, being disrespectful to not only his son, but Boosie's son. And, yep. You know, they had an ongoing thing. We talked about it on the pod. Yep. Um, and I applaud T.I. because he took it to wax. As an artist, that's what you should do. As opposed to taking it to the street, right? Because you know what? T.I. back in the day would have took it to the to street. The street yeah. I totally, hold on. I totally agree with that. You know why? I didn't at first when I first thought about it because when I heard about it, I was like, why the fuck are you dissing Charleston White on the song? But Charleston White has a mouthpiece, right? Mm-hmm. All he does is jump online and talk shit. You're not going to jump online and talk shit and beat Charleston White. What do you do best? You make music. The, the only problem with that is we live in a society now where, you know how to say all publicity is good publicity? Mm-hmm. If you are referencing somebody in a song and you're T.I., you are helping them with I hate to keep using the word re- re- relevancy, but that's just that's just the facts, right? Because the first thing that happened is Charleston White comes out and he's like, "Man, I got these bitches and you're rapping about me." Blah, I made blah, blah, him, blah, blah. I made him relevant again. Right, right. And it's like, first of all, again, Ti been relevant, 
And second of all, like, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, he talking about his son, which is extremely disrespectful. Very disrespectful. And I like the fact that he took it to wax. Um, and so I applaud T.I. I applaud him big time. Word, yeah. word. It's like, I don't know. T.I. tried to get him on the phone one time. Charleston White played the phone conversation, him talking to T.I. All he did was just loud talking. I mean, it was just, it was, it, man, we live in some silly, stupid times. <laughs> All right, uh, what else we got on the docket? Um, Sweetie. Okay, what's, what, what you need? All, what you need? <laughs> Sweetie dropped yes. a, a diss track. Are you one talking to me? No, you're not Sweetie. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. You might be Tia's Sweetie, okay. but you're not Sweetie, the female rapper. There's a female rapper by the name of Sweetie? Yeah. Oh, you didn't know about her? Fuck, she's not relevant to Luke. It's a lot of people that's not relevant to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But in the hip hop community, mm -hmm. she's known. She's relevant. Uh, she's, they she's, were dating, right? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. They she's, were dating. She's relevant. Who's more relevant? So, Sweetie or Nas? Nas. She's way more relevant. Way than more Sweetie. relevant. Like, I don't even put Sweetie in the rap category for me. I don't even put her in a rap category. She's more like you a, just said rapper. I'm either. just saying. I'm saying that's what she's. That's what she's associated as. If I was just to say Sweetie the model, right? Because she models too. Nobody knows that. Does she? Yes, yeah, she models too. She models for big name brands, but people don't okay. know her for that. So I just tried to use a term that people would know her for. What is she most known for? Uh, rapping. Yeah. Okay. Being an and Instagram being and being person. and being Quavo's like all the rest ex. of them, like Amber Rose, and exactly. Like other people. No, nah, I guess and Amber Rose is not an artist, is she? Mm. Right, but I'm just saying, like being on the internet. Okay, affiliated we've with talked rappers. about Sweetie too long. <laughs> But anyway, so she, she dropped a diss track yeah. um, the other day on Quavo from an incident that took place, I think, two years ago. Hmm. And she felt, you know, now was the time for her to drop this diss track. And me personally, I just feel like that's evil. That's evil. Yeah, like, you all know with the uh, takeoff situation. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. he got going on. You know he's grieving his nephew. This situation happened two years ago. Like, bitch, you should have dropped that shit two months after the incident happened. Then it would have been a little bit more like, you know... Uh, of an effect to it, but she dropped it two years later. So she's 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 cut for me. She been cut, but now she's really cut. Shea Boogie, the way you said "bitch" with your full chest, cause that's that's yeah, that's that's, that's that was so I mean, that was the thing. Chest. That's foul. Like Take I don't get breath. down with shit like that. Like that's it's foul. Very nasty. Yeah, that's, that's evil. Yeah, I didn't. So I when you heard the song. when we talked when it's whack when you told me about it I, at first when you told me about the the diss, I was like, so. But now that you connected to the takeoff situation, she's dropping it now. That's kind of re relevancy. Yeah, right. That's very. No, it's, all, it's all to achieve relevancy. End. Yeah, correct. The, yeah. the key, the, the word of the day, of the day ladies and gentlemen. Relevancy. She clout chasing off of a death. It's very, sure. it's very inten intentional, and it's yeah. nasty to do it now. Yeah. Yes, very nasty. when the incident happened two years ago. Well, I tell you, man. Uh, and yeah. she and she dissing little baby too because apparently she slept with little baby too. I'm sure she didn't slept with a bunch of babies. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. All of them. I'm sure. Salute the little baby. <laughs> <laughs> Salute the little baby, man. For sweet, uh, knocking down, sweetie. All right. Um, you said a uh, Glorilla. Uh, we mentioned that real quick. She sold out of her her entire. I don't even know who tour. that is, by the way. Entire Glorilla? tour. Never heard of her. I'm fun. I'm F -D 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 -D. Let's go. Oh, that's the one that y'all said we're on a BT award or some shit. Mm -hmm. Hip hop award. Did she? I don't remember that. We talked yeah. about it. Yeah, she won the best new best new artist. I thought you said ruined. I was like, what? best new song or best new artist? Oh, she won. Oh, I say she best won. new artist. Yeah, yeah, best new artist. All right. Well, all right. Well, salute to uh, Glorilla. And she was nominated for a Grammy. Besides the fuck nigga thing. She got tomorrow with Cardi B too. There it is. I don't know. So she do got two songs and she got blessed. Uh, and now she got a new joint called Nut okay, Quick. Okay, Shay is uh, Glorilla's number one fan. Did you buy No. Ticket? See, here's the thing. <laughs> no, Shay is in the industry. I'm in the industry, so I have to know my industry, right? Yep. right. I have to know the people that I talk about. I'm not going to come on the show and just give an opinion and I don't know nothing about it. Shay, but you, 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 hold on, hold on. You will come on the show and give a fact that you don't know nothing about it. <laughs> but I just be, I, first of all, I just be BSing to kind of entertain the show and to entertain the people. Right. That's what we do. But when I'm serious about music, like music is something I don't play with. with yeah. I don't play with music. Music is my life. Music is, is my, is in every part of me. So I don't play when it comes to music. This is what I do. You know, I work at Universal. Talk your shit, Shay Boogie. Yeah, it is. is she coming to Houston? Talk your shit. Take Talk your shit, Shay. Yo, shit. So, right. you know what I'm saying? So, I really take this serious. Is she right. coming to Houston? She is, and it's sold out. 
You can't get us no ticket? No. Nope. You ain't got the plug? Not right now. Wait a minute. Right. Let me go on record as saying I don't want a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good. Facts. I'm so but good. if Nas come to, to Houston, you want to go? If he's going to perform, you can hate me now. He's going to perform it. Then I'm, I'm with it. But guess what? Guess what? <laughs> guess what's going to be in there? It's going to be uh, Big Papa Pump and a bunch of all the old ass gray, gray beard. Don't, don't think that it's only going to be old people because it's a lot of. it's Ain't a lot of born in the 90s. It's a lot of intelligent young yeah, people like, who grew up in a household where their parents were still listening to this music and it, and it jumped onto them. So don't get it twisted. My little sister is 25 and she know uh, she know a lot about our music. So I guess, damn, I hate to go back to this subject and I'm not trying to go there, but I'm thinking about like, so we grew up in an era where hip hop was still kind of fresh, still kind of new. It wasn't brand new, but it was still new. Hip hop is still a baby. But I'm saying when we grew up, when we grew up, it was still like a toddler. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, there was groups like Earth, Wind and Fire and all kind of other shit. We were, we were aware of a lot of that music. Marvin Gaye. But, but but on to my point, we were aware of like the hit songs, mm-hmm. right? We weren't aware of like the album cuts of on Earth, Wind and Fire CDs. You depends. Know? Uh, not CDs, their albums. Depends. D- the, what depends? What if your if your household listened to it? My father, well, yeah, and my yeah. mother I mean, listened to I mean, it all the time. No, of course. But what I'm saying, just collectively, I guess, or wholly, mm-hmm. right? I, I don't think most people would know uh, Earth, Wind & Fire's catalog. That they will know certain songs, like Reasons, After the Love is Gone. They will know certain songs. We will know the hit songs of a lot of people that were before our time. But we're not like, we didn't study them. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't fucking, like, you know, go deep into... But a lot of artists that came up did study them. Yeah, but at the same time, there are a lot more artists now. So a lot of these young people... You know, where we may have had like five hot rappers coming up. There's like, should we name already like 10 young hot rappers now? It's just, I'm just not mad at young people for not giving a fuck about the history. I'm not mad at them either. No, no, well, I'm not saying changing. you are. I'm just saying just in general. Yeah, huh? I'm not the mad world at them. is changing. Nah, some people mad. It's, it's some people that are mad about that. She is mad. She <laughs> says she's not no, mad. No, 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 no. I'm not mad. I'm not mad I'm about fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. the young people you. and them not liking our music. I'm mad at the disrespect that comes with you don't even know their music and you talking shit about it. But I don't feel like they were talking. But I'm this just saying just, that's me. I know, I know. But this is my, I, just, I still don't feel like that. I know a lot of people felt like that. I don't think I don't think the twenty one situation is specifically to the disrespectful thing. Yeah. But I I I definitely hear what Shay is talking about because a, a lot of times they confuse it and they they can't separate the trying to speak about relevancy, so to speak, and the disrespect. They just disrespectful in the way they talk about. Stuff. Well, because listen, we come. We, we, hold on, real quick. We are in a we're in a society now where. All we do is be disrespectful to yeah, people. This is true. Yep. Right. Like nah, if, if you go, if you on like Facebook or like Twitter or, or Instagram, oh, and you go into right, you go into a comment section, say on like a baller alert or a shade room, right. and you leave your opinion about something, somebody you do not know, never met, never will meet, <laughs> right. is going to say the nastiest shit. They to coming you. for you. So and. and we're just in an era where people just say like disrespectful shit. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is, mm-hmm. right? Um, but it still, t- it still, it still runs parallel uh, to what Don, uh, what uh, like this nigga, Big Papa. Pumper. I'm not fuck, <laughs> not calling okay. you that. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Shay. Well, I'll call you I that. Don't, I don't. Know you fucking that. won't call him that. Exactly. Oh, exact- that's exactly why I won't call you that. <laughs> why you got? It don't mean. Okay. Jay didn't even say he had say a problem. Say it to you. Say it. He didn't even say he had say a problem. Say it to you. Okay. What? No, Big Pop Pump? All right. I mean, I, I, think, I think everything is contextual. No, it's just <laughs> jokes, y'all. God damn. Nah, it is just <laughs> jokes. It's, it's, it's all jokes. Okay. All right. Can I play devil's advocate for a second? You um, want to play? Go ahead. So when we talk about disrespect, isn't someone saying that your music sounds like Dr. Seuss? disrespectful or yeah. like when we talk about the music i mean shay just used the word intelligent so like you're inferring that people who don't listen to the type of music that is in your household are not intelligent and we'll say all the time that's trash i don't know what they're talking about right they, they can see that as disrespectful to go to go to big 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 guy over here <laughs> big pop punk <laughs> to go to 21 his, savage is trash to go to his right. point but hold and, on 
there's been a, you're being disrespectful. But there's been right. a lot of that. But there's been a lot of that coming from our generation to their generation. Right. Ooh, yeah. So a lot of what he's talking about as far as like the disrespect that they have. In the block. After a while, after it's all they block. hear exactly. is us talking shit. But I mean, it's the same thing when our parents talked about our shit. Exactly. Was like, man, fuck y'all. So right. it just comes, it just comes with the territory. Yeah. Who are we to be offended when we don't like they shit either? Yeah. I do like, like some of their stuff. Well, like, I, I do like I didn't some even of know it. the Global Realer person. Yeah. <laughs> girl. She a girl? Yeah. She's that sounds a like girl. a man's rap, rap name. He sounds like Gorilla. But her name is, is Gloria. Glo- I think. Glo- yeah, her name is Gloria uh, so Hallelujah. Like, so it's Glorilla. Like, go- Gorilla, but Gloria. I'm just saying as a... As a... Old person? No. As um Young people, old person? Okay. We have a tendency... <laughs> to try to light it to up. ...to be disrespectful to things that we cannot relate to and things that we don't understand. Right. Any generation, any gender, any sexuality, whatever. I don't agree that, with that fully. But there's a tendency to do it. Yeah, I think it's, there might be a tendency to do it. but the reason I don't I, get it. I'm going to talk shit about it. So uh, this is what I'm saying. Like, if you come up in an era where you are listening to Miles Davis, right? Who that? Play a uh, trumpet. I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, I'm about to play. Yeah, Shay, Shay Boogie almost <laughs> lost her <Okay>. fucking <laughs> But if if you are in an era where you are used to see it funny <laughs> when you're listening to like a um a Michael Jackson and a Quincy Jones, right? Very talented individuals. Um and then all of a sudden you come into an era where it's hit me, you're on the seat, jump machine, You're gonna be like What? What the fuck? like mm-hmm. because you know the talent that it takes to play an instrument, right? You know the talent that it, and, and this is kind of from our era to their era. Like we hear Nas, we know what it takes for that pen work. We know what it takes for somebody to write like eloquent bars, and paint pictures. We we know what that it consists of. So when we get somebody coming in, yeah, 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 it's like, huh, baby, they drinking my bottle. Yeah, we, we, it's a big get bottle. bottle. <laughs> but no, but what I'm saying is just like. We call it trash because to our, it's trash. <laughs> like, when you hear fucking Kodak Black, right? And you grew up listening to Biggie. I like Kodak. Fuck what you like. <laughs> you want to um, put him in the same bucket as 21 Savage? Um, I Yeah, but I like some 21 Savage, too. Oh, so, I'm, I'm not but totally this is not about, but, but, but this is not about just shade, right? This is about just, because a lot of people have Generation. backlash. Yeah. A lot of people have backlash to, the, to this, right? And a lot of people, a lot of people who um who are older, and when you come up listening to shit that you know, like when you come up listening to Biggie and listening to like Life After Death mm. and how he constructed some of them songs, mm. like um, what's warning. beef? Oh warning. man, warning. Warning. warning! Give me the loot. That's our shit, Shay. Come on. That's our fucking shit. Ain't nobody doing that. But you know, but at the same time, this is just a different era. It's hard to respect the shit because we know it doesn't take that type of talent to, to make it. But let me say this, too. This generation does a lot of sampling of old shit that they claim is not relevant anymore. They do a lot of sampling and remakes of music that they claim is so old. Nobody listens to no more. We're not, we not jamming to that. But half of that catalog is made up of samples from our music. Yeah, but that's what we did. It's a, to, that's, that's what I'm what saying. Did that's, that's what I'm saying. It's a cycle. That's why I try not to get too, like, bent out of shape about it. It happens. What's up? Okay. So, y'all are rappers, right? Y'all rap? No. Y'all right? I do. Right. So, if, I don't know, your grandmother compared her music catalog to listening to what you have done and said like, Oh, that's trash. You don't have skill, whatever. There is still skill to what you do. She maybe just cannot relate to the skill. Correct. I agree. Yeah, that's yeah. very true. Very so true. It's not necessarily. Like, oh, thank you. Hey. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Make get. Get the second point of your point out to, to oh, see if you deserve it. You want me to land my plane? Yeah, yeah please, because I'm waiting. Let you land your plane. <laughs> All Fuck of... out of here with that stupid shit, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the land. That land your plane shit. What's so, the so other know. one? That's another one. Too. I don't know. This, that shit's corny. Go ahead. Yeah, go, keep going. That's okay. that clubhouse shit. All I'm saying is we're saying that these people don't have skill, but maybe there is a certain skill level that you maybe just can't appreciate it because you have a different frame of reference. Because I know... That what y'all have done is skill. Because I can't do it. I tell them all the time, like, 
I would run out of breath. I can't think of words that rhyme with each other in like 30 seconds. Like, well, this but the, evi- the evidence, hold on real quick. The evidence to that is the fact that how many people can do it now, right? What you're saying, I do understand. Mm-hmm. But it's just simply not true in this case. I'm not saying these rappers, these young rappers now don't have a talent. Kodak Black, I think, can rap. I'm not saying he can't rap, but I'm not saying he's trash either. Word, because he slid on Silent Hill. But, but don't you also think figuring out how to be relevant is a skill? Let's take the music part aside. But learning how to finesse your way into certain areas and be relevant, that's a skill. Nas. Payola. I don't know if that's a skill. It Payola. is. I just said it. Payola. A lot of people do not. I mean, some. that's how one hit wonders is this, right? People pop up and then disappear. They don't know how to pivot. So, like, knowing how to, and that kind of goes back to what Big Pop Pump was saying with the record labels. Like, we don't, we don't. She likes, say, she likes saying that. I like the alliteration. I'm telling you. Um, I'm sorry, baby. I'm listening. Come on, come on. <laughs> the look threw me off. <laughs> there was no look. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm looking, trying to finish, finish hearing what you're saying. It threw me off. Right. Here's the thing. I I, I love oh, the, the uh, relevancy. I like, love a lot the of these. Some of these rappers today. I don't want people to think that I'm saying I don't listen to none of these rappers today. That's not true. I listen to a lot of young rappers today. But just because you come out with an album, don't mean you can rap. Just because you put a song in, just because you make a song in the studio and put it on iTunes, don't mean you can rap. Don't mean it's good. I don't disagree with that. I'm at not going to give everybody that drop an album saying, "Oh, well, just because he's not a part of my generation, I'm going to take away from his skill." No, either you can rap or you freaking can't. Sure, and a lot of these artists can't. So you were saying that, like a soldier boy who's been relevant for a very long right. time, right? That's a skill. I yes, I do think so. Great. Coming I, up I with the you, like I, I, we still I, do that, I, right? I but. What I'm saying is, I will give you that part. But as far as being a rapper, I agree. Is he a skillful rapper? No, I agree. No. Okay. So I'm just saying, to me, in the time that we're in, there's more that plays into it other than rapping as a skill set. Which is why I said that Hennessy went to Nas for to be their brand ambassador today. Right. Because they knew that they was going to be able to reach the people. And then the fact that he has this accelerated fund to 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 boost black entrepreneurs. How dope is that? What what other rappers that come out today are doing that? I don't know. None. Crickets. Yeah. I don't know. Come on. He's he's built. He's building up black entrepreneurs, yeah. not bitches twerking. Twerking at the headlights. Come on, man. Like Glorilla. Come on, man. Yeah, I don't disagree. I'm just saying there's more. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I agree or disagree. All of that. All right. Well. All right. So this was fun. Very spirited discussion. I what like else it. You got? We learned that Nas is no longer relevant. No, that's not what we learned. <laughs> we learned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't think that we have anything else. Only thing else uh, that we we didn't talk about. We didn't talk about every goddamn thing. Do we have a question, question of the week? week? All right, what we got? We do. Uh, so we have a question of the week. We do have a uh, question. Shea of the Boogie's week. question of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, hold up. Hey, hold is up. this the remix? Hey. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, hey. Shea Boogie's question of the week, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so Shea Boogie's question of the uh, week. Hold on, my breakdown. Hold get on. Get it, get it, get it. Hey. Get it, get it. Salute to D. Francis on the motherfucking beat. Super man, producer D. Boy. Francis, goddamn. Come on. Oh. The man, the myth, the legend. Hey, yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, Shea Boogie's question of the week, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right. So, oh, it's over. Shea Boogie's question of the week goes a little something like this. It's not as relevant. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is Mr. Luke a hater? Yes. Hey, big time, man. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn. So this is like, I, think about it like this. Would you rather work 20 hours a week and get paid 5000 a week? Fuck yes. I don't, I don't, or. I don't even need the rest. Wait, <laughs> wait. I don't even need the other part. Yes. It's all good. Wait. As much as he works, he's done. <laughs> he 20 it's hours. Over. It's over. Five grand a week for 20 hours. I'm fuck, good. Hey, fuck I'm pay qu- my rent. Fuck the rest of the question. Okay. Of the week. No, listen. All right, go ahead. Would you rather work 20 hours a week okay. and get 5000 weekly, mm-hmm. or would you rather work 80 hours every two weeks and make 20000 every two 20 weeks? Bands. I would take 20, nigga. I said the same thing, bro. Get the, I, mean, this, I know this question of the week. I'm answering my shit now. 
<laughs> 20 fucking hours for the 5K. Fuck the 20K. Fuck the 80 hours. You're basically asking me to trade doing maybe three days of work hmm. versus doing like a regular five-day yeah. schedule. Yep. Just for a lot of money, but but it, but but no, it could be hours. That's like a ten day schedule, right? Well, no, oh, eighty, 80 hours just a regular forty hour a week, right? 40 regular job. Yeah, regular bi weekly. Yeah, I'm yeah. confused. No, I thought a- every a- other week. Eighty so, for eighty. Eighty for two weeks. Eighty yeah. for two weeks. Read it again. So, would you rather work twenty hours a week and get five thousand weekly, basically ten thousand every two part. weeks? Twenty one. Or would you, <laughs> or would you work eighty hours every two weeks and make twenty thousand every two Jeez. weeks, basically forty thousand a month? Fam. So you go from so what we already doing now and barely able to basically, survive. 40K basically, though. or would you rather reduce your work days? <laughs> Absolutely not. That's a half a meal. It's okay if I pick the second one and he picked the first one, we'd be all right. Y'all. But you can only pick one per one, one per household. One per household. Oh, one per household. Well, lucky us, we are not in the same household. Ballin'. <laughs> hey, Ballin'. <laughs> Listen, uh, nigga, twenty hours a week. That's it. That's it. Fuck that. Day. Y'all had a twenty, nigga. I'm taking the five. Five a week. Five. We good, baby. For I'm twenty hours. Still, you want to go to Vegas? Huh? Still ten every two weeks. You good? That's ten Man, every that's, two weeks. God damn, that's 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 what's that's twenty a, twenty a month. Twenty a month, or fuck, Jay, fuck out of here, but, but, you, but you could double it for what you already do. I'm now. not gonna double it for what I do now because I'm not doing what I do now. What I'm saying is, if you work a forty hour a week job, you could double it. I know, but I'm not. Fuck that. You can have it. Peace of mind, man. You know, listen, I mean, you have to consider what people have gone through. This man works. Yeah, I've been traumatized. <laughs> Bro, he like shit. Yeah, so he's an can, can I pay my is. rent? Am I gonna be homeless? No. Okay. Not only. Not only. We good. Hold on. Hold on. Not only. <laughs> not only will I not be homeless, I'm gonna be halfway balling. Right. Like, I'm good, good nigga. Thanks. Let's go. Twenty a week. I mean a month. Man, and then I have plenty of time to invest in businesses or whatever. Well, here's the thing. Uh oh. I work 40 hours a week now. Yeah. Still have time to invest in my business now. Yeah. Nigga, I'm going for the 40. Go ahead. Have, okay. hey, have at I agree. it. I want it. I'm, yeah, I'm hey, going for the 40. That's a y'all half a meal, y'all bro. Y'all can have <laughs> half a meal. Uh, per year. Per year. I'm going to take the 10. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make get on the mic, D. Francis. Get on the mic. <laughs> my bad. I said, I'm going to take the 10 and flip it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'm, but look, but everybody, and, everybody and can't hustle like you. Yes, they can. Man, I don't. Everybody don't have the hustle in them. I don't even give a fuck. Yeah, about what do you flipping. mean by? Flipping? I'm gonna live off the five, man. You gonna buy? A house I'm cool. Or you gonna do some illegal flipping? activity or what? Man, I'd have had like fifty different businesses. I do all kind of stuff. Well, this like, was I a, might this write a wonderful book. question. I week. might. It's, it's no telling what. I'm that is goddamn. Oh. Man, look, look, man, look, about to start this food truck. <laughs> man, come on, dog. Hedging bros. No, I ain't that good. Ah, sorry. Man, look, I just. Uh, you gotta leave that on the Wait a minute. Man, 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 Luke got this food truck coming. It's well, coming. It's what, coming. What about yeah. me? You in there? Oh, well, that's all I need to hear. Yeah, but you gotta, you, you gotta, gotta you have to. You gonna be busy at work for eighty hours? Yeah, you gonna be, you gonna be at work. <laughs> but guess what? But guess what? But guess what? I'm gonna be an investor. I'm gonna, only, be, I'm gonna be an investor. The only way that the only way you can be down with this shit, you have to admit that Nas is not relevant right I'm now. Fuck y'all, food truck. Y'all nigga. Worse, <laughs> you worse than uh, the Brooklyn Nets. What the hell are you? Fuck y'all, food truck. <laughs> what you saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, damn, that was a yeah, Shea Boogie's question of the week. Uh, a wonderful question of the week. I love that. Shea Boogie, you knocked that shit out the fucking. I appreciate part. it. All right. applause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank hey. you all. <laughs> Thank you all, uh, people, for listening and joining us uh, on another wonderful episode of our, our our growing and fucking fantastic podcast. The biggest, baddest motherfucking podcast in the land, by the way. Hey. If I wasn't fucked up off this cup, I would have actually in- said that in the intro. Uh, but listen, we had a very spirited conversation. I loved it. I love every second of it. Thank you to our guest, Tia, for coming through and joining us. At the yeah, Miles Tia. Page. Thanks uh, for having me. Tia, twerking Tia. We definitely want to thank uh, Big Papa Pump, who is uh, who joined us at the roundtable today. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. We love you, brother. Uh, also, thank you to uh, Razor Sharp Dre for uh, coming through, as always. The sharpest. Uh, salute to <laughs> um, uh, Shea Boogie. Salute to D. Francis. And, yeah, we out this bitch, man. We thank y'all for listening. And uh, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, happy thank- Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, that's right. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we got green bean things. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. You name it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, thank y'all for listening. We love y'all. Uh, we are the We yes, Solid. We, we are the We Solid Swear podcast. And we are out of this bitch. Y'all be cool, man. Hey. Bye. Bye.